Elsewhere tonight, the video makes it clear it was broad daylight, and it appeared to be business as usual at this Gary convenience store, even after the clerk was shot to death. Police say witnesses stood by and did nothing. CBS 2's Pamela Jones shows us critical clues that may help crack the case. Police say one of the men bursting into the clerk's booth at this convenience store is about to commit murder. Watch the left side of the screen. You can see a man in red run up an aisle and kick in the door to the booth. Within seconds, the clerk is shot in the neck. It was senseless. But Commander Anthony really Titus awesome. says what's even more senseless is the apparent inaction of bystanders, like the people, including a child, standing near the front door almost the whole time. Police ask that we conceal their identity. Police tell us several customers were walking around the store after the crime, but only one managed to call 911 for help. When you look at that video, what do you find most disturbing? That the fact that people went in and out of the store, didn't call the police. There's a man laying there. Nobody thinks to dial 911 or check to see if he's okay or anything. Police want to talk to people who saw the four men at this mini mart on 15th and Grant just before 5.20 p.m. Sunday. Investigators say two of them were dressed like this man, who's apparently holding a gun. The other two, including this man, had red shirts. Police think they were driving this red or burgundy compact car. It's clear enough to the point that if you're familiar with that person, you'll be able to look at it and go, that's, you know, someone I know. Investigators hope someone who sees this video will be able to help bring the family of 26-year-old Gurjeet Singh some closure, a man who was doing his job one minute and seconds later losing a fight for his life. In Gary, Pamela Jones, CBS2 News.